You've been listening to WSCT Worldwide Radio. I am the one and only Lady J on your Sunday morning inspiration show, waking you up. I want to shout out a couple of people that's been texting me and Facebooking me. My cousin Taisha, my mother. I see y'all on Ustream. That's what they tell me. We'll see. Y'all see me waving at you? Hey, see my ladies waving? My boss waving? Okay, he going to look away, but that's okay. <laughs> You've been watching <laughs> the Sunday Morning Inspiration Show with Lady J. I have two beautiful ladies in here. They're going to talk to us now about living their dreams and the, the, the um, characters they're playing the upcoming um, play on this weekend. Go ahead, ladies. Yes, this is Raquel Grant. Um, I'll play Shay Jenkins, of course. Miss Jenkins. And, <laughs> and oh. time for love. She's uh, basically married to um, the character Bobby. I'm going through a divorce right now. Oh. Yes, he's being the typical man, unappreciative, didn't um, appreciate or enjoy or respect what he had at home. So, you know, how they like to go out in the streets. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she loves him. She's one of those, she's a... <sighs> how can I put this? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll just say she likes to uh, fill her her hurt and her pain with sarcasm. Uh. So she she's very sarcastic when it comes to to Bobby and what they're going through mm -hmm. right now. She's they're going through mediation of their divorce and uh, she's hurt, but she loves him. So yeah. you get to see her ups and downs and their ups and downs basically on marriage and or divorce. Mm -hmm. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna find something. Like, like, let's see if this works. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably not appropriate. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, wait. Let's try this one. Okay, that may be a little better. Let's try it. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm gonna work on the sound you effects. You know, hey, I'm so new. I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. <laughs> Jennings and I play the character Janae. I am Janae Johnson. Um, and pretty much Janae is um, desperate for love. Janae is thirsty for uh -oh. love and she's willing to go to any lengths, the desperate measures to get that any way she possibly can. Um, she's loud. She's crazy. <laughs> she is that honest friend that really doesn't bite her tongue and she says what comes to mind. She's very animated and um you know, hey, you either love her or hate her, but um, nine times out of ten, you end up hating her. You love so, to hate her. Um, yeah, d there you go. <laughs> love to hate her. You do. Um, but she keeps you on the edge of your seat. She keeps you laughing, and um, it's always one of those, uh, no, she didn't. It's yeah. always one of those moments. So, um, yeah, that's Janae. Um, you'll find that uh, Janae is the, the comic relief. Ah, of, yeah. um, of the play, but not only that, she she is something else. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you gotta come check us out next Saturday. You gotta come check us out on this Saturday, sorry, yeah, this in order Saturday. to find that out because it's the yes. end of the month. Yes, everything is so serious. Well, the the topics or the issues going on with the play are so serious, but Jay did it in such a comical way. It's it's so you don't get so depressed mm -hmm. when watching it mm -hmm. you're still you're going to laugh your butt off definitely but it's everything so relatable right everybody's been through right. something or dealt with right. something in the play but it's it's it's, a good, it's hilarious definitely so i mean you, you just have to come check us out and and tune in you won't be disappointed you won't have any regrets i promise you you'll absolutely love it um again tickets PurposeByDesign.com. That's yeah. PurposeXDesign.com. Dot com. All October right. Six, four, and eight. Yes. Make time for love. I have some of the cast in here. Um, the producer called in, Mr. Carter. We want to thank him again for that and thank these ladies for coming in. Today's show has been about living your dreams, and these two ladies have been telling us about living your dreams and the and the things that you go through and that you know the struggles it takes to to achieve the goal and the dream that you have in mind. And for, like I said, for those that didn't have a dream when we started this show, I want you to seek and search out the Lord and, and let him show you and guide you to 
the gift that he's placed on the inside of you so that you can live and, and, and live your dreams. I mean, nothing is easy. You didn't go through high school without tests and trials and tribulations. You probably got in a couple of fights. I mean, it's a lot of things that we've done, but you know, in order to graduate with that degree, that diploma, it took trials, it took issues, it took circumstances, it took challenges, and it took a whole lot of tests. And and you had to pass them in order to make it. So we've been listening to WSET Worldwide Radio with the Sunday Morning Inspiration Show where we motivate, encourage, and keep you moving forward in your lives. I am the one and only Lady J. It's uh, 842. We're going to do a little more talk with the ladies about where they come from and what made them, what, what was the start of their dream? Like what started you wanting to be in plays and acting and things like that? What what, what started that? Well, for me, <laughs> I saw Angela, when I saw Angela Bassett and What's Love Got To Do With It? Oh, yeah. I was so young then. <laughs> That woman has really, her and Samuel L. Jackson, those two have really inspired me mm -hmm. to want to be great. Wonderful. And that's Angela Bassett portraying Tina was really what made me, what turned it on for me. Yeah. I've always wanted to entertain. And right. that's what turned it on. Stephanie? Well, um, for me, acting has been like a, a dream to first since I was little. And she's been acting all her life. I've always um, <laughs> been like passionate about the fact that you can portray you can be someone else you can mm -hmm. become someone else all those all those things that you want to be as a kid whether it's a ballerina or a singer mm -hmm. or um, a basketball star a doctor a lawyer you can be that on stage you can be that mm -hmm. in front of a camera um and you don't have to um you know just be confined to being this one thing or being in this one box for the rest of your life you can be so many different things on camera and I, I love the the fact that I can become someone else and how you can um, God gives you the skill and ability and the talent to transform yes. and become someone else or become what you think people would want to be for mm -hmm. those few mm -hmm. days or few months of time that you're filming or rehearsing or even going on stage because right. and, and also you get to bring a piece of yourself to yeah. That. yeah um you get to show people a little bit of you in every character that mm -hmm. you play and I love that so it's it's just been um, like I said, a dream deferred since I was a kid. And you know, you life happens, mm -hmm. you get sidetracked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I, I had a, I have a son, he's six years old, mm -hmm. and you just kinda say, Okay, uh, you know, we'll put that on the mm -hmm. back burner for right now. We need to make the money. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, um I worked, I come from the corporate world as an accountant, you know, and, and that's pretty much what you do and you get comfortable with that. Mm -hmm. Saying, Okay, it's paying the bills, it's doing this, this and that. And then you start to realize, you're like, look, I'm not happy. Right. Mm -hmm. right. This is just paying the bills. I'm not right. happy. You have to do what you're passionate right. about. Mm -hmm. If not, you will not be happy. You'll find yourself waking up, dreading to go to work. And that's what I didn't want. Right. So I said, I got to do what I'm passionate about. Lord, if you open the door and give me the strength to do it, I'll do it. And mm -hmm. in return, I'll glorify you with my gift with whatever. Right. And, and I know it all so well. Yeah. On that, there's nothing that I have done. I've done a lot of different jobs. There's nothing that I have done that I am okay with waking up early in mm -hmm. the morning for, mm -hmm. but acting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay with staying late mm -hmm. nights for, mm -hmm. but acting. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's really like, a, acting is a ministry. Mm -hmm. and, and that's why I love stage, because you pull, you actually get to experience the emotions with the audience. Mm -hmm. To, to um, minister to somebody through a character people are going through the same right. thing all the time people are going through the same story the same thing that your character or can relate to has been through the mm -hmm. same thing that your character is going through and it may open doors or open their eyes to see an outlet right or to you know somebody else has gone through that they touched me they went through the same thing and right. to see it put on paper and brought to life mm -hmm. It's amazing. Yeah. It is amazing. Same here. I mean, <laughs> I have a bachelor's degree in HR. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> right. I come from a corporate world. I have a secret clearance. I work mm -hmm. for the Navy. I mean, mm -hmm. I have, I'm talking about when I say blue collar, yeah, I've been all up in there. I know mm -hmm. ins and out. But like we were talking off air, I beat my boss here. I have to call him, tell him <laughs> I'm here because I love this. This is, I mean, I'm so free. I'm excited. I'm, I'm happy to do what I'm doing. I love to encourage people. I mean, it's not easy. I mean, I have to do a lot of off, off the scene things, but it's, it's, it's what I like to do. I talk mm -hmm. to people. 
I encourage people. I help people. That's who I am. That's what I do. I mean, my bachelor's degree has nothing to do with none of this. I mean, I have a background in sociology, psychology, and, 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 and hey, and, 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 and I have a lot of, you know, I started off in sociology, psychology. Actually, my bachelor's, I started off in um, urban planning. <laughs> Wow. That's a That's joke. Nice okay. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So urban planning went to sociology, psychology, went to social work, and I end up with an HR degree. Okay. Then I go back into a master's, and I start off in the MBA, and I go back to sociology, psychology, and I was like, what am I going to be when I grow up? <laughs> I don't know. But I'm one degree down, and mm-hmm. with all my credits, I'm really two or three master's degrees down. But we, who's counting? But anyway. <laughs> You know, who's, who's counting? I mean, you know, I kind of get upset when I'm like, man, I really could have a master's degree. What is on? What am I doing in my life? But it's all good. But I love this, and so it is. It is. He, my my boss said he feel my pain, but they did all the, the the sweat and tears. I'm just gonna help them. You know, I'm encouraged them to keep moving so I can stay here and encourage the people. <laughs> right. He went to law school. Oh, he is. He is. Wow. He's all around. He 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 does. What's that thing called? You uh. The sign-off thing, the, ah, that they do in the banks. Okay, yeah, I forgot. Um, So, yes, we've been talking about dreams this morning on the Sunday Morning Inspiration Show on WSCT Worldwide Radio. (laughs) See how I had to cut that off? I'm like, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I just just don't know. I I don't know. Uh, But, yeah, we hope that (laughs) it's not illegal. It's not (laughs) I don't know, but yes. You've been listening to WSCT Worldwide Radio. Well, the Sunday morning inspiration show to motivate you, to inspire you, to keep moving forward. I am the one and only Lady J. We have the cast of Make Time for Love and my bosses. I woke them up early this morning. They're here with me. Oh, they almost woke now. Okay, maybe not. Um, <laughs> we're going to break for some music real quick, and we'll be back to end the show. But we thank all our listeners, all our Ustream people. They texted me and said, hey, I see you waving. We do love you. We thank you so much for waking up so early in the morning. But I want to get you to church, and nobody called in this morning to shout out their church. Ain't nobody going to church this real Sunday. Okay, that's fine. But anyway, I will be back. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs>